Welcome to Art is Essential, the Gavlin television show about the importance of art in our lives. I'm Fran Lozano, Dean of Liberal Arts and Sciences at Gavlin College and your host today. Each of our shows features a local artist or artists working in a different medium. Today we have with us Lorna D, who's visiting the English department and reading at various classes. Welcome to the show, Lorna. Thank you. We're very happy to have you with us, and um, I'd like to start by asking you to tell us a little bit about your background. Um, how did you grow up to be a writer? Well, I can't uh, say that there was ever a time in my life when poetry wasn't at the center of my life. When I was a kid, I was always taking uh, pieces of paper and folding them together and making books, and uh, uh, then, of course, I had to fill that paper. Um, and so I started writing when I was uh, eight years old. Um, and it's just, uh, it's just always been there. Is it true that you grew up in San Jose? Yes, I grew up in uh, San Jose. Uh, I was born in the Mission, uh, um, and I love the whole idea of your show. I come from a family of uh, artists. My my father, uh, Luis Cervantes, uh, he passed a couple of years ago. Um, he was uh, honored by the city. Uh, they declared a, the mayor proclaimed a day in his honor, and his wife, Susan Cervantes, they have a mural, uh, yes. Presidio Eyes mural uh, center in San Francisco and uh, my brother is a, a musician and has played with Dr. Loco and Dr. Loco's rocking jalapeno band and other bands he's always had bands and played with different people and uh, um, and even my grandmother and the women in my family there's an art to, to everything uh, I, I think uh, and uh, yeah, so to me, I just found my little niche writing. <laughs> well, I, we do have a mural program here, and oh. once a year there's a field trip, and it begins at Presida Eyes, oh. so there's another uh -huh. connection here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to ask you about when you were at UCSC and you were in the History of Consciousness program, mm -hmm. and what was that like, and how did that um, influence your writing? Uh, well, I, I, I loved it. Uh, um, I have to say it's, uh, uh, it's a bit of a tragic uh, story. Uh, uh, my, I was raised in San Jose, um, in a place they call Vario Horseshoe. Uh, and in uh, the winter of uh, 1982, my first book, Emplumada, had just, uh, had just uh, been published, and I was on a reading tour. And um, uh, my mother was murdered uh, in, in San Jose. And I felt, uh, and it was like the bloodiest weekend in my city's history, is what all the televisions were saying. And, and, um, and I just felt as if um, poetry wasn't possible in that world. And I didn't think I would ever write again. And uh, uh, I planned on uh, giving it up. I was into carpentry and thought, well, no more words. I'll just, you know, <laughs> sand wood. <laughs> um, and uh, but you know, I'm I'm uh, my my way of dealing with things is to put a book in front of my face. And so I thought, well, if I'm going to do this, I might as well go back to school. And of course, I was interested. I've always been interested in philosophy, and wanted training as a philosopher and uh, and of course I, I you know there's a bit of sublimation in that wanted to to research the 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 roots of violence and violence against women and domestic violence and state violence and um, so uh, um, so it was a really uh, a really good opportunity uh, for me so uh, after about five years uh, though the uh, poetry has a way of uh, uh, has a mind of her own own. The muse is a mind of her own. <laughs> uh, and I started writing again. Was Emplomata your first book? Yes. Uh -huh. Do you have a copy of it here? Yes, it's right here. This, yeah. is, my, uh, this is the uh, first edition. It's been through uh, at least 19 printings, and now it's got a purple and pink cover. So this is the, this is the old one. Um, and what does Emplomata mean? Uh, it's a, a word I uh, made up, a uh, composite of other words, emplumada is of course feathered. Uh, it's the feminine version of feathered. Uh, 